Hello guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a chill kind of sit down and haul all of the stuff that I've been buying over the past couple of months. So mainly I've been gift buying so I can't really share a ton of that. I really wanted to get on here and do a gift guide but I have not had the time. So while I've been buying for other people I also definitely have been buying for myself. So I have a bunch of makeup, hair care, skincare, just stuff I really want to talk to you guys about. Just like good old fashion haul style. So this is pretty much an Ulta and Sephora haul mostly but I did buy some products on Amazon. Most of what I'm going to talk about I did purchase myself. I think I have a couple honorable mentions that are PR that I just want to share with you guys but most of this I did purchase. I've been shopping for sure so a lot of retail therapy going on over the past couple of weeks and as you might see the background's a little different here. The lighting is wonky because I have my little wrapping station. This room is like my wrapping station um, and I went all gift bags this year. I have not had time to like actually sit down and wrap. I think I only did it for a few people's gifts but I have a ton behind me. You can't see them all. So it's a mess. We've got really weird shadows going on but whatever. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is not for myself, but I need to wrap it. But I wanted to talk to you guys about it in case you were dealing with the same problem as my mom. So if you're my mom and this is before Christmas, do not watch this video, please. And I'm going to talk about a gift. So she's dealing with like a little bit of hair loss right now and she's kind of freaking out about it, which she's totally justified, but she definitely does not use good quality shampoo and conditioner. So I picked up a really highly recommended shampoo and conditioner treatment from the brand Bondi Boost and it is their hair growth shampoo and conditioner. I happen to have a 20% off Ulta coupon, so these are pretty pricey. I want to say they're $30 or more, uh, but they're very highly rated and they were in the section for hair growth. So I hopefully will be able to check back in if this works for her, but I really wanted a gift that was useful and thoughtful, you know, so this is actually something I got from Ulta a couple days ago and it's the last gift that I need to wrap and then I'm done wrapping. I actually did my last wrapping today and kind of forgot about these in my Ulta bag. I actually have shortness of breath right now, if you guys can catch that. I had like a sinus infection and I'm coming down from it, but I was sick for 16 days and now I think it might be a little bit of pneumonia. I don't think it's COVID, but I will get tested if I need to. So much shit is going on, you guys. But yeah, that's number one and I can't wait to put it in a bag gift bag for everyone and just be done. Next up, I've kind of been like looking back on pictures. Do you ever look back on like your old makeup looks or like what you used to look like and you're like, hmm, what was that lipstick? And you don't remember. And you're like, that was a signature lipstick. I should have remembered. Maybe not. Maybe that's just me. But that happened to me. And so I've kind of been on the hunt for like a good nude lipstick that I can call my signature lipstick for 2022. So I picked this up from Ulta again, same trip as before. It was in store. I don't think my coupon applied to this because it's nude sticks, like prestige beauty. But this is something I've never tried from nude sticks. I've never tried their cream lip and cheek pencil crayon. So I saw it. I don't know. I just like, I love shopping in store and I never really get the chance to. So we were at the mall. I just decided, you know, I'm Christmas shopping for other people. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to look around. And I never really have seen these before. So I stumbled upon these crayons. I can't even get it open. My nails are so long. I got them super long for Christmas and I can't even get my contact lenses out, you guys. It's bad. Nude Sticks comes in these little tins, which I wish I had more use for because now I have a ton of them and I don't know what to do with them. But this is the crayon. It actually looks like it comes with a sharpener. I think this is a sharpener for it, but it's a super neutral lip crayon. So I'm actually going to pop it out of here. I like that it's sealed because it kind of looked like these were picked through at Ulta. This is in the shade Whisper. I'm not being a good... YouTuber right now. <laughs> this is the shade. It's super, super nude, like as nude as can be. So I'm excited to try this. I don't think it's going to be like a cheek color for me. I don't think so. Kind of a pretty like brownie light nude with like a hue of pink in it. It's more brown than what I have on my lips. My lips is Stila Mecca right now. I'm just going to put that in because everybody always asks me. Um, I think the pencil sharpener, I don't know. I've never seen these. I think the pencil sharpener can like 
just chill on the back of this I don't I don't know so I want to shout out one PR mention you guys know Colourpop just keeps pounding out the collections and I do get them in PR most of the time lately I'm gonna be honest it's a little overwhelming for me as a creator because I cannot keep up and I feel guilty and then I get imposter syndrome and I'm like I don't deserve all this free stuff because I can't share it I'm trying to like part myself from that mindset but basically so many collections are coming out that I feel like I can't share everything with you guys so I'm really trying to just take my time pick the products out try them and if I love them I'll share them uh, but then it's like by the time I'm sharing them they're like obsolete like nobody's talking about it but I think I'm a little bit on top of it with this one because it really caught my eye and I decided to use it a couple times. This is the Gone Matte Mega Palette. I love their Mega Palettes. I feel like it's a great value for money. Of course, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's an all matte palette and I've kind of been leaning towards like the pinks. So the shade PJs, Cozy Q, and You're a Foe. Are on my lid today and then I have like a Colourpop gem on my lid if you guys see it they have like those packs of gems uh, but basically this is gonna be great for a matte lover to dip into every single day so far it's been blending really well this is pretty much the only all matte neutral palette I want to say that I have in my collection and I kind of think it's cool to just have that option um, and in the winter I do kind of gravitate more towards mattes for some reason and then as it gets warmer I go a little shimmery but that is a PR shout out because I do think that I like this so far and I would recommend it to anybody looking for a matte neutral palette. This was an Amazon purchase. I don't know if it was an impulse buy or what but I used to love the NYX butter glosses and I saw that they have new shades. So I picked up the shade Sugar High and they just smell so good. They're the perfect like throw it in your purse type of product. Mm, it's nostalgic. I don't know. The scent is so good. And I do think this is going to be a nice signature nude gloss. Look how similar, <laughs> look how freaky similar this is to the nude sticks one I just showed you. But I do like the shade. I think it's going to be a really nice like throw it in the purse, wear it whenever type of gloss. Next up I think is the newest foundation I have in my collection. I have been buying kind of a lot of foundation but I haven't shared anything. It's so awful. I know I need to get better at it. Uh, but I think hopefully in the new year my schedules are going to be a little bit easier to maintain everything. Um, but anyways, this is my latest foundation. It is a drugstore foundation. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it for you guys. This is the Catrice True Skin and I've heard so many people talk about this. It is the foundation I have on my skin right now. Um, you guys, I don't use filters anymore on my videos. This is my face. This is what it looks like. So I actually really like it. I think this looks pretty flawless right now. My skin has been behaving really well but this was pretty full coverage and it says it's hydrating so for my dry skin that's a plus. This is the shade 004 Neutral Porcelain. It actually played really well with all the cream products that I have on my face. Everything is pretty much cream. Uh, I didn't use any powders I don't think other than the eyeshadow today. Moving over to the Sephora bag I think it's more of like the high-end stuff that I'm to talk about. So first up I bought myself the Olaplex number no. 4 bond maintenance shampoo because I finally learned how to use the number no. 3 Olaplex. So that is like a viral product. Everybody's talking about it. It's like the number one rated hair product right now. And to be honest with you, I tried using it like a deep conditioner because I didn't understand the concept. But you're actually supposed to put that Olaplex number no. three in your hair before you shampoo from roots to ends. And you're supposed to put a lot of it in there. It doesn't come with a lot, but you're supposed to put a lot in and you're supposed to leave it in for a minimum of 10 minutes. And I was not doing that. And then you're supposed to shampoo it out. So I finally did it correct after I've used pretty much all of my damn thing. I finally did it the right way and my hair has never been better. It literally looked like I gave myself a Brazilian blowout, like a professional treatment of like silkening, just smoothing, just amazing Oh, I cannot you guys I cannot so that sold me so much on whatever's in Olaplex that I decided to get the shampoo to go along with the number three treatment I plucked it back out of the shower for this video but I did use it in combination with the bonding treatment and oh my god my hair honestly 
I didn't even have to blow dry it. You guys just have to trust me. I have to blow dry my hair for it to look good. I let it air dry and it was pretty much as smooth as it is right now. So highly recommend the Olaplex line. I'm hopping on the bandwagon and it's approved by me if you guys care about my opinion. Another PR product, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. They've sent me two of these. I've gone through both of them. Now it's time to buy one and I love it so much I'm gonna pay the price for it. So if that says anything to you guys about how I really feel about this product, you guys. <laughs> I talk about this on my Instagram stories because I had to share it because this is a game changer. Uh, but I haven't purchased it yet. I'm gonna wait until I have a coupon. But this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Serum. It is meant for redness, but I don't really deal with redness. I use it for dry skin. And this is how I use it. We're going to talk about it because this is the reason why my skin is behaving so well right now. So I get out of the shower whenever I shower, morning, night, whatever. And immediately after I dry my body off, I kind of leave my face a little bit damp. And I put a generous amount, I want to say like four pumps of this in my hand, like a good amount. And I will say, it's probably because it was sent to me that I'm using so much, but I'm trying to get through all my skincare products. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. But anyways, I put four pumps of this in my hands and I put it all over my face while it's still damp, down my neck, and I've never seen my skin behave better. It's helping my dryness so much. It's making my skin very supple and glass-like and it it's not red so it's probably doing its job there too but I think it's due to the ceramides that are in this and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I looked for dupes because I heard about this dupe website and that it plucks the ingredients out and it looks for similar products there's nothing there's like a 50% match to this but there's nothing higher than that so I'm gonna have to buy it and if you have skin like mine you're also gonna have to buy it because it's so good. And I'm to the point, this is my second one, I'm to the point where I am taking this off and trying to dump the very last bit out of here. This was in my cart forever. I bought this off of the Nude Sticks website. I actually bought two Nude Sticks products off of the Nude Sticks website. I had a 30% off code somewhere around Black Friday and I bought the bronzer I've been wanting forever. I have it on my face today. I don't know if you guys can tell because I kind of did like a light bronze. Uh, but this is called Beach Babe. It's the Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color. Nude Sticks is so easy and I've been so on the go lately. So easy has been my friend. So stick products that I can just swipe on and blend away. That's been my life lately. If I'm wearing makeup, it's makeup like that. So this is basically a double. Like it's a blush and a bronzer with the way that the color looks. Hopefully you guys can see it. It can definitely play as both products. And that's another thing I like about nude sticks is that they are versatile and they're meant to be versatile. So this could be a blush, could be a bronzer, depending on how you use it. Like it's a really nice, like warm, toasty blush if you use it that way, but also it looks really good if you kind of go in the contour area, which is what I did. Um, very sun-kissed. I think it's gonna be really nice for summer, uh, but I did pick that one up and then I picked up, I think, an online exclusive or a nude sticks exclusive of the Nudies Matte blush color in the shade Cherie or Sherry, Cherie I think though. And I did swatch these on my Instagram stories so follow me on Instagram. You see things first over there. Um, but this is a really pretty rosy blush color and that's the difference. It's not too too much but you can see when they're next to each other why the bronzer is a bronzer and the blush is a blush. I was feeling bougie during the second Sephora sale. And I say second Sephora sale because they did like the VIB sale where they had 10 to 20% off and then all of a sudden it was 20% off for everyone. And I actually waited. I don't know why I wasn't gonna wait. I had a cart full of stuff ready for the VIB, but I'm kind of glad I did because I got the 20%. So I was bougie and I picked up the Dior Backstage face and body power powder no powder is what it's called and i picked this up based on makeup by cheryl i love cheryl on youtube and um she loves this and i think she has it in a couple colors and i was inspired so i picked up the shade n2 or 2n 
2N2 neutral. And I have to take a picture of this before I like swatch it because it has the little Dior Dior stamps. And I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, this is my first Dior product. And he was like, no, it's not. <laughs> I have two highlighters from Dior, but this is my first like powder product, I guess. No, it's not. <laughs> It's not. It's simply not. I thought it was. It's not. It has like a faint shimmer in it. Kind of reminds me of like the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Powder. Just a tiny little sheen. So I think I'm going to like it a lot. Uh, especially in the summer months. I do set my face with powder more in the summer. Uh, but I wanted to pick it up now before I changed my mind. Okay, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I picked up the new Juicy Apple by Kayali. I love Kayali. I have the Vanilla 28, and it's one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I finally did my favorite perfumes on TikTok, for those of you who were asking me. So check me out on TikTok if you want to see those. But... I love Kylie, so I really got sucked into the campaign about this apple perfume, and I bought this one thinking it was a little bit bigger than it is, to be honest with you. It's very, very small, but my nails are inspired by this bottle also. I got the jelly see-through red nails for this, but this doesn't smell like what I thought it would. I think I need to give it a little bit more time on my skin or on my clothes before I completely write it off. Uh, let me spray it so I can talk about it because I don't remember. I only sprayed it once when I got it. I thought it would be much bigger uh, for $25. I guess it's not bad. I like that it has a sprayer for $25, but I did think it would be bigger. So I sprayed it on my arm of my shirt. Now I think my opinion might be because I used to like citrusy, fruity fragrances when I was younger, and then I kind of like graduated into like the gourmand vanilla section with like Sol de Janeiro. I think they turned me, and then Kylie Vanilla 28 and everything warm. So I kind of shifted my signature scent to that, and then trying to go back to apple, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> it's in the room now, and it's on my arm. You know, it's not horrible, but it's not as, like, bright as I want it to be, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more of a deeper apple, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting light and airy and fresh, which I do like. I like my Chanel fragrance that's kind of like that. Um, this one's a little heavier than I would like for an apple fragrance. And that's the only thing that I can say. It's just a little heavier than I like. Which I guess I'm glad I didn't splurge on the huge bottle uh, because I was going to. Because I was hyped from the campaign. So hyped. So I'm glad I got the small one. I think it's not going to be an everyday thing for me. Maybe just when I'm feeling fruity. I don't know. Maybe a gym fragrance this would be good for. Okay, PR moment, but I think this is really cool. So another PR product, you can get this from Sephora. Um, this is from Glow Recipe as well, and this is their new Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I'm actually not sure if the cream itself is new or the concept is new. So the concept is they have refillable pods for this, and wait till you see it. So cute. I think this is such a good idea. It's better for the environment. It's better for your wallet. I want to say right now on Glow Recipe, if you buy either the full size of this or a full size product, you get 50% off the refill. So that's a good deal too. But it's like hard when you don't know that you're in love with the product yet um, to commit to both the full size and the refill at the same time. But yeah, I wish they had that for this because I would go do it right now. <laughs> Ooh, that was a satisfying noise. Anyways, this is what it is. So the pot is separate. This is the refill and you can purchase the refill separately. That's what it looks like. And then they did send me a little refill. Yeah, so this is the little refill, both available on Sephora. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't tell you if I'm gonna be obsessed with it. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used a Glow Recipe product as religiously as I have the avocado one. But ever since I've fallen for this one, I'm like, I'm ready to dive into all the stuff that I have. But I really like this concept and I like that this is becoming more widely available on retailers like Sephora to have refills of things. So that is another new PR product. Another thing that's happening to me due to trying to work through my collection is I'll be 
using something that came in a subscription box or like a sample size product and I'll fall in love with it and I'll have to go buy the full size. So that happened to me. I did not have a discount for this one and it was the only one left and it was busted and that normally would bug me so bad you guys. I do get picked on for that because I always grab like the back bottle off the shelf at like Walmart you know. Um, I normally would not choose him because he is damaged but he was the only one and this is the Murad Essential C Cleanser. I had a mini that I think came in Ipsy or BoxyCharm and I used it up and this is my favorite morning cleanser and I've been using it before work in combination with everything else I'm using. It's my favorite cleanser. I love the smell of this. It's a nice wake you up kind of like orangey scent. Um, I think I checked it to see that it was sealed so let me take the seal off. I want to like smell it and see if I can describe it. Oh, it just smells, yeah, it smells citrusy. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't care what's in this. <laughs> I don't care if citrus is not good for you. I've been using this for a couple weeks already. I went through the entire small tube. I've been using it in combo with this and it's brilliant. So essential C cleanser, environmental shield it says, formulated with vitamins A, C, and E. It's 40 bucks. And I had no discount, but it's worth it. This is from First Aid Beauty. It is their hydrating eye cream. And the standout talking point of this that I want to get across is that this is super lightweight. So a lot of the times eye creams are thick and thick eye creams can cause the little bumps under your eyes called milia. And I've had milia in the past. And ever since I watched Stephanie Letta talk about her milia, and how thick products can cause it. I'm like, I don't want to use thick products. So this is a super like ultra thin eye cream. Let's, let's demonstrate. I don't want to waste too much, but like, you see how thin that is? Probably not. <laughs> it's very thin, very lightweight. Kind of smells cucumbery in a way, but I've been using it for a couple nights and my skin can be sensitive, you guys. It will react if it doesn't like something. No reactions to this. Um, and First Aid Beauty is one of those brands that I really trust with my skin. Nothing has ever gone wrong and it has really helped to heal like my dryness when I use their creams. Um, I also like their toner pads. I like a lot of stuff from them. Their cleanser, I've actually repurchased their expensive face cleanser uh, because it's unscented and my skin likes it. I don't know. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. And last up in front of me, but definitely not last up that I've purchased now that I think about it. There's got to be more. There's definitely more. Um, but this is the last one I have not opened yet. And I purchased this because Rare Beauty came out with new shades of their blush, their soft pinch liquid blush. I only have one in my collection and I love it. I think I have a mini that might have came as a sample, but the one that I have, I'm obsessed with. So I had to pick up another shade and this is in the shade Hope, I think. Hope? No, oh, I don't know if this one's dewy or matte. It doesn't say, why doesn't it say? I'm surprised, they have two formulas. One is dewy and one is matte. I don't know which one this is. Let's check right off the bat. I just wasted so much in that swatch. That color right there, I'm obsessed. This I think is dewy, right? If it's shiny. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. This right here is like my favorite color of makeup if you can't tell. I want to give a quick shout out to these beautiful brushes. I've had them behind me because I haven't found a place to display them yet. But these stunning brushes are from Blinged Brushes and Allie Dawson. They did a collaboration. They're so perfect for Christmas. I can't get over how stunning they are. I posted a video of them on Instagram in like direct sunlight and the sparkles speak for themselves but these are handcrafted like these freaking crystals are put on by hand thousands of them and like you can see how much these sparkle without any sunlight so very very extra very beautiful but something i love about bling brushes is that you can purchase their brushes individually so you don't have to commit to buying a whole set if they're too pricey um i really want to look into they have a silvery set that i love with like multi-color 
uh, crystals but now I have three sets from them and I need to figure out how to display them I still have not figured that out I could honestly stare at these all day long so thank you so much bling brushes for sending these my way if you guys want to check them out I do have a discount code so I will leave that info down below in the description with everything else that I talked about in this video. I do have a get ready with me that I need to edit for you guys because it, the makeup actually turned out really good and it's how I've been doing my makeup lately with like my busy life. A lot of my techniques have shifted a little bit um, so hopefully that will go up in December but if not I just want to thank you guys so much for still being here sticking around watching my videos and accepting that I have a lot going on in my life right now and just understanding that I can't be here as as much as I used to be um, I'm not just sitting around and if I could be here I would be trust me I'm always kicking myself because I want to post more often um, but I do think that I will be able to next year so fingers crossed for that but that is it from me today I have to go wrap my final Christmas gift and I'm probably going to be spending the next few days with family but I cannot wait to finally get in a groove with you guys and hopefully see you very very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.